Hey folks, Damon Baker of the Publisher and Developer Relations team here at Nintendo of America. It's hard to believe that it was only a year ago that I was out here telling you all about the amazing games we had lined up for the launch of Nintendo Switch. Now I won't get all wistful on you, but I do want to thank all of our Nindies, the content partners who made this last year one to remember. What started as a community has grown into a family, supported by the shared passion between independent developers, their games, and the fans who have embraced them. And I'm happy to say that the family continues to grow in 2018 and beyond. So, without further ado, let's kick things off with the latest addition to the fam. This one might creep up on you. Play Entertainment's critically acclaimed stealth platformer is back and slicker than ever. Mark of the Ninja Remastered will show you what it truly means to be a ninja. Don't let this modern classic sneak by when it launches on Nintendo Switch this fall. And speaking of sneaking in, I should probably introduce the crazy uncle of our department and the head of indie relations, Kirk Scott. So why don't you tell him a little bit about yourself? Thanks, Damon. Well, I enjoy candlelight lunches, short walks on the beach, and amazing independent games. That's enough. Uh, let's just get to the next game. In a world where fantasy meets martial arts, anything can become a weapon. And in Serling Games' new fighting game, Fantasy Strike, this rule applies to the wind, fire, ghosts, gambling, paint, even time itself. Whether you face the fight alone, in local multiplayer, or online, you can enjoy the nuanced mechanics of a deep fighter with simple combos and easy to perform special moves, shifting the focus from memorization to pure strategy. Pass a single Joy-Con controller and duke it out anywhere when Fantasy Strike comes to Nintendo Switch this summer. Ever heard of a musical bullet hell game? Neither have we. And that's why we're crazy about Berserk Studios' Just Shapes and Beats. A kinetic frenzy of deadly shapes set to rad beats from more than 20 chiptune artists. You can face the music solo or with up to three friends in local or online co-op. And this just in, there's also a full story mode you can take on alone or with your friends. Just Shapes and Beats launches first on Nintendo Switch this summer. Nice. Well, this next game will get your heart beating in a different way. Tiny Build Games is lifting the door on Garage, a top-down shooter inspired by the gloriously gory VHS era of B-movies. I'm talking stuff we can't even show you in this video. As you solve the mystery of a gritty underworld, you'll slay hordes of living dead and tentatively living mutants. Along the way, you'll collect new weapons that can hopefully keep you alive long enough to see the light. Play Garage first on Nintendo Switch when it launches like a rocket this spring. You know, that looks exactly like my garage. It could use a pool table, though. Luckily, I've got just the thing. Adult Swim Games and Wreckham have joined creative forces to bring us a world where everything from jungles to deserts to cities is one giant's cartoon game of pool. Of course, sinking the eight ball is the ultimate goal, but how will you fare as a clueless cue ball fending off quirky characters like biker balls, ballerina balls, and more? Man, it's weird and crazy in a really, really fun way. There are more than 100 levels to conquer and local multiplayer for up to four players. Be there when it launches first as a system exclusive for the Nintendo Switch later this year. If you're like me, you like your chicken served up nitrate free and your bomb chicken served up by the good people at Nitrome. They describe this beauty as a chicken platformer combining action, puzzles, and arcade goodness into one explosively fun game. Lay bombs to escape tricky situations, lay stacks to reach up high, and start a fire to discover secret areas, or just to watch the world burn. Only you can discover the secret behind fast food giant BFC's signature blue hot sauce when Bomb Chicken launches first on Nintendo Switch this summer. I am extremely pumped to announce Luminous Remastered, an HD remake of the critically acclaimed puzzle game from Enhanced Games, led by Res visionary Tetsuya Mizuguchi. 
A bombastic harmony of light, sound, and intense puzzle action make this game as unforgettable to play alone as it is with a friend in local multiplayer. Dig on them techno beats, which are being carefully designed to work with the HD rumble feature to highlight not only the beats of the music, but the actions you take during gameplay. Luminous Remastered drops into the Nintendo eShop this spring. In Reigns, Kings and Queens from Nereal and Devolver Digital, you're a monarch of the modern age. That means you face a seemingly never-ending series of requests from peasants, allies, and enemies. Your word may be law, but what happens when your choices threaten the balance between influential factions? Your only option is to outwit and outlast those who would seek to overthrow you and your family in this compilation of Reigns and Reigns Her Majesty. For the first time, you can enjoy local co-op decision-making exclusively on Nintendo Switch when Reigns Kings and Queens rises to power this spring. What is that thing? It seems to react to the boy's presence. The boy should be cautious. The platforming adventure Lightfall will take you to the forgotten world of Numbra, where you'll uncover your mysterious past and hopefully save its inhabitants from imminent threat. Master your surroundings by manipulating the Shadow Core, a magical box used to propel yourself into the air and forge your own path. Bishop Games was kind enough to let us reveal a world debut, Speedrun Mode, which allows you to race against your friends or even the fastest players in the world. Develop your skills and see how high you can place on the online leaderboards. Lightfall releases first on Nintendo Switch this spring. Okay, partner, giddy up, because I'm right behind you with another great game. Ah, West of Loathing from Asymmetric. There's nothing quite like a slapstick comedy, stick figure, Wild West RPG adventure, am I right? As you explore the sprawling open world as one of three character classes, you'll wrestle up a heap of danger, quests, and puzzles, not to mention jokes, goofs, gags, and mysteries to solve, too. And if you feel like it, there's optional turn-based combat, more than 50 hats to collect, and liberal use of Oxford commas. Laugh yourself to tears this spring when West of Loathing launches as a system exclusive on Nintendo Switch. Puda is a co-op exploration puzzle game from Henchman and Goon. It's about two unlikely travel companions going on an adventure within a mysterious mountain. Through their unique individual talents, they reveal a magical world within the mountain by working together. Puda is inspired by Norwegian art and culture, resulting in a stunning story environment. The game works well as a single player also, but it's nice to soak in the relaxing atmosphere with a friend or family member by playing with the two Joy-Con controllers included in a single system. Piece together the secret history of the mountain when Puda launches on Nintendo Switch this spring. So, some of you may have been following a little game called The Messenger. And last you saw, Sabotage hinted that there may be more to this platformer than old school 8-bit goodness. Well, The Messenger hinges on an amazing feature, the ability to transform from an 8-bit platformer into a gloriously rendered 16-bit time-traveling adventure. Journey through this cursed land as a young ninja on a mission to deliver a scroll paramount to his clan's survival. On your quest, you'll find upgrades, new abilities, hidden levels, and a plethora of great speedrunning opportunities when the messenger comes to Nintendo Switch this summer. The developers of Plausible Concept and publisher Raw Fury are about to pitch you against a Viking horde. So arm your troops, shore up your defenses, protect your citizens, inspire their loyalty, and you may live to see peace again. 
In this real-time tactics roguelike game, each commander you lose is gone forever. Lose everything and it's game over. See for yourself when Bad North launches first on Nintendo Switch this summer. All right, Damon, it's finally time for our last announcement of the day. And it is with great pleasure that I confirm that Banner Saga 3 is headed to Nintendo Switch. As the epic conclusion to Stoic's award-winning trilogy of mature, story-driven role-playing games, players will need to brace themselves for more tough battles, difficult choices, and tragic losses when Banner Saga 3 releases this summer on Nintendo Switch. What if you haven't played the first two games before? Hmm. I can also confirm that Banner Saga 1 and 2 are coming soon to Nintendo Switch. And your personal story, progress, and choices from the first two games will also carry over. So think strategically, otherwise you may be mourning a favorite character forever. Well folks, that's a wrap. From all of us at Nintendo, we'd like to thank our Nindy partners for continuing to support the growing library of amazing third-party games on Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching, everyone.